Question 13. Here they have given this figure and its measurements are li listed here. And they're asking us to find x. We can see that this is a right angle triangle. Can you see? A triangle uh, O and M, rather O M N, let's write O M N, is a right angle triangle. So since this is right angle triangle, we can use Pythagorean theorem in it. So it will be opposite or whatever side you call it, square plus b square equal to c square. This is the longest line. The line which is opposite to 90 degree is always the hypotenuse. And that's why I know that is the longest line. So this is square plus this is square will give us this is square. Let's make the equation out of it. So 3x minus 1 square plus 15 square equal to 3x plus 4 square. And we can find x now by expanding it this first. If I expand this, it will be square of 3x minus rather plus square of 1 and minus 2 times 3x minus 1. How do I know this? This is the identity I'm using. a minus b whole square is always a square plus b square minus 2ab. And this is what I used here. Now 15 square is the next thing which is 20, 225. Will be equal to, this. we'll use the same uh, identity but with a plus. So if this becomes a plus b whole square will be a square plus b square plus 2ab. So 3x square plus 4 square plus 2 times 3x times 4. Okay and now let's expand this using more space. So 3x square is 9x square so square of 1 will be 1 and this minus 2 times this I think oh sorry we shouldn't write this it is 2ab okay there is no negative with b so it will remain negative so minus 6x 2 times 3 is 6 and x there is it is just 1 1 doesn't make any difference plus 225 equal to this square is 9x square again this will be 16 and this is everything is positive 2 times 3 is 6 times 4 is 24x all right so 9x square on this side 9x square on this side cancel out so what are remaining this let's collect six x's on one side so 6x minus 24x this positive 24x when it comes to the left side becomes negative equal to uh, let's bring this one and 225 to the other side. They become 226 together. Minus 226 and plus 16. So they become minus 30x equal to minus 210. So x equal to minus 210 over 30 positive negative 30. Both becomes cancel out and answer is 7. So x is 7, that means, let's write the correct length now. This is 3 times 7, 21 minus 1, 20. So this length is 20. 3 times 7, 21 plus 4, 25. This is 25. Great. Now, we need to find the B part. B part says find the area of M and P O. So M and P O is this shape. M and P O. We know that it is made up of two right angle triangles. So if I find the area of this triangle first and then this triangle on top, add them, we'll get the area. So let's find the area of the triangle where we know all three sides, 15, 25 and 20. The area of a triangle is half. Let's say area of triangle OMN 
is half base. Base will be the one which is having 90 degree on it. So this is the base, 20. And the height will be the one on the base, which is 90 degree on base 15. Is the one, two and 20 cancel. 10 times 15, 150 centimeter square is the area of the lower triangle. Let's talk about the upper triangle. The problem with upper triangle is that we know only one side. We don't know hypotenuse. We don't know the height. So let's call this as height and try to find out. And we can find this edge by finding this angle. And this angle can be found out by finding this angle first because we know the sum of both the angles is 90 degree given. So let's find angle uh, O and M with the help of this triangle first. So let me redraw that triangle down there. Okay. This is like this. Then we have a 90 degree. And this is 20. And this is 15. And that is enough. We don't want the third one. I want to find this angle. Right? So I can use tan. Let's call it theta. So tan theta equal to opposite which is 20 divided by adjacent which is 15. So this gives us theta equal to tan inverse 20 over 15. Let's find that angle. By the time I calculate this, please subscribe to this channel so that I can make more videos for you in future. Okay, so I got angle as 53.13. This is theta. Okay, so if this is 53.13, the angle this one will be 90 minus 53.13 and that will be uh, 36.87 degrees. This angle is 36.87. Now we can find H by again using tan. So this time let's call this as, uh, okay, now we have, we, we know the angle, so no need to write any alphabet. Tan of 36.87 degrees is equal to opposite, which is H in this case, over adjacent, which is 25 centimeter in this case. So H is 25 multiplied by tan 36.87 by cross multiplication. Let me do that. So I got this as 18.75. This height is 18.75 and now we can find the area of this triangle as well. Okay. So the area of the triangle PON is equal to half, base was 25, height is 18.75 and we get 234.38. Centimeter square and now area of the shape M What was M O P N M N P O that's what we're writing Equal to 234.38 plus earlier we got 150 will be 384.38 centimeter square and is there any requirement they have not seen how many decimal places we want so let's write it in complete number which will be 384 centimeter square approximately 